Hi everyone, Pastor Andrew DeGelder here again from Palmerston CRC with the video for week three of our church education program for children and teens that's based on the Heidelberg Catechism. This is material that's designed to be used by families with parents guiding the conversation with their children, whether they're older children or younger children, uh, talking about what's in the catechism. So parents, let me ask you a question. How's it going? Are you getting the hang of this? Is conversation happening or is it more like pulling teeth with your children? Let me know. Drop me an email at pastor at palmerstoncrc.com. I'd be curious to hear about how the conversations are going in your household. Well, today we're going to be looking at question and answers 9 through 13. So once you're done with this video, please read that section of the catechism aloud with your family and then I've got some talking points for discussion. As always, you're welcome to adapt these points based upon the age and developmental stage of your children. Or if you find that your children want to talk about some other things that are in the reading from the catechism, that's totally fine too. I'm just trying to help you have a conversation with your kids about what's in the catechism. The main goal of this whole thing is to familiarize your family with the Heidelberg Catechism and talk with them about it in a way that makes sense to them. Okay, so once you've read those questions and answers in the Catechism, there are three talking points that I'm hoping that you will get to. The first talking point is debt. See if your children understand the idea of financial debt. Have you got some bills laying around that you can show your children? Utility bills, credit card bills, something like that. This might help them with the concept. You know, there are several different ways of thinking about the atonement of Christ. And one of the most popular is the idea of a debt that needs to be paid. Not a financial debt, but a spiritual debt. So dig into this idea of debt with your children and make sure that they understand that a debt is something that needs to be paid. That's the first talking point. Second talking point is the concept of justice. It's something that's mentioned several times throughout the questions and answers of the Catechism reading for today. Ask them if they know what justice means and if they could give an example of it. Then connect justice to the idea of debt and ask them about that. Is it just to leave debts unpaid or to pay them? Well, of course, debts need to be paid, but what if you can't? What if there's a debt that you could never pay? That's a problem. And that's our problem spiritually. As the questions and answers of the catechism explain, through our sin, we've incurred a debt that we could never pay. In fact, our guilt continues to increase as we continue to sin. That brings us to our third talking point, and that's payment. Talk to your children about how financial debts are paid and how a debt incurred by one person could be paid by someone else if they have the ability to do so. Then shift the conversation to paying for sins. If we can't pay for our sins, who can? Well, Jesus can. That's getting a little ahead of our catechism readings. You won't want to race ahead to the solution before your children really understand the problem. But especially if your children are young, you probably want to acknowledge that there is a solution to this enormous problem, and Jesus is that solution. That's where the Heidelberg Catechism goes next as it outlines that solution. Well, these are foundational things for a Christian worldview, and I'm so glad that you're taking the time to talk to your children about these important things. So enjoy the conversation this week. This is Pastor Andrew DeGelder from Palmerston CRC saying goodbye for now.